Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo HTA Edition. Four box, half case, random team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All teams are in, no paper ships except for Dominguez, Robert Posson, and Bobby Wood Jr. And of course, all chrome cards do ship. So, and three autos a box in the Jumbo Edition, which is pretty nice. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. No fillers or anything, we just did this straight up, thank you. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Joseph Fest all the way down to Brandon Metzler after nine. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the snakes down to the rocks. All right. Joseph with the Diamondbacks, Brian with the Blue Jays, Mike with the Mariners, Anthony with the Marlins, Brian with the Orioles, Brandon with the Twins and Pirates, Matthew with the White Sox, Alan with the Giants, Matthew with the Phillies, Jason with the Reds, Josh with the Royals, Mike with the Nats, Alan with the Tigers, Jason with the Cardinals, Brian with the Cubs, Chris with the Rangers, Jason with the Red Sox, Tony with the A's, Oliver with the Strohs, Brandon with the Indians and my Dodgers, the Champs. Matthew with the Angels, Levi with the Braves, Ray with the Padres, Tyler Brenner with the Rays, Levi Johnson with the Mets, Jason with the Brew Crew, Chris with the Yankees, and Brandon Metzler with the Colorado Rockies. So let's get all this on one screen, sort by team. Right there, we got the Astros up for trade from Oliver, so make him some offers, Astro fans. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was there was a decent amount of trade chatter, but in the end, there were no no deals done. So four box random team three 2020 Bowman baseball. Levi with the Mets last spot mojo. Thanks to him. Thanks everyone for getting in. Yes, that is new toner, right there as well. For those of you who keep track of Jaspi's toner adventures, which I know some of you do, let's pop this case open. That part was just open. Huh? Someone accidentally cut into it. Right, let's pop that case open. Let's take out the boxes here. And let's roll the die and see which side we're going to do here. We'll go one, two, three. I'm going to select a die right here. We'll go Dodger Blue. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. Three. One, two, three, left side right here. And this we will save for random team number four. All right. So there you go. We'll mark this for us so we know that they're from the same case when we do this maybe later tonight. Another one. Run back another four boxes. All right, there it is. Three autos per box. 2020 Bowman Baseball. Good luck. Tyler Brenner saying sorry. He hopped in the shower right after he sent, just after he said it's his team for, for trade. Jack, what's up? Yeah, I think so. I think we just have to do a couple fillers, which unlocks the basketball, uh, basketball hockey mixer, and then I think that unlocks tonight's promo. Oh, I think we have to do one more opulence filler too. I think. I think the details are in the uh, break schedule. One hundred and one. Is the other four box break posted or not yet? No. I should have done it before I started this break, but now I'm in the middle of this break. I'll do it in about 45 minutes. 
And on a Wednesday, December 2nd, yes, that is the sounds of the NFL in the background. we got Ravens at Pittsburgh. And uh, looks like the under is still looking good for me. No one scoring points. It's, I think it's been 12-7 Pittsburgh for maybe two quarters. Did you get 101? You pulled a Wander Franco gold paper out of a blaster of this yesterday. Out of a blaster? That's not too bad. All right, so remember, paper doesn't ship, but all of this chrome does ship. Unless it's Bobby Wood Jr., Robert Pawson, or Jason Dominguez. Those are the only exceptions per the item description. So all of these will go to Josh Gibner and the Royals. It's supposed to be a pretty pretty great prospect. When, when should we expect... Bobby Witt Jr. to make his debut. Is it ne next year? This upcoming season? Or maybe he has another season to go in the minors? Another year of seasoning? I guess there was no minor league season, so maybe all these guys' debuts are delayed by a year. Nice. Jason Dominguez to 499. Blue paper for Chris. And the Yankees. Nice. Nine out of fifty. Ulrich Bojarski. Gold chrome for the Tigers. That'll be for Allen. Chrome Jason Dominguez. Nice. Another one for Chris and the Yankees. Not seen our first autograph yet. There it is. And for my Dodgers, Omar Estevez going to Brandon Metzler, who has my Dodgers. Not numbered. First of three autographs. Our first Robert Pawson paper, Tony with the A's. Another big international prospect right here. We got some speckle coming up. It's a speckle autograph. 81 out of 299. We're staying on the West Coast. Oakland A's, Tony Barkey. Nice. Third round pick. I'm on paper on this pile right here. There we go. Jason Dominguez paper. This guy's supposed to be a pretty big deal for the Yankees too. Yankees have a kind of a good farm system in addition to their deep pockets. Mike Yastrzemski to 499 for the Giants. That'll be for Allen. 
guess my Dodgers do too. You know Major League Baseball wants that Dodgers-Yankees World Series. That'd be good to see. I'd love to see that. I think the Dodgers and Yankees have faced each other since there's Brady Singer. It's the early 80s. Brady Singer for the Royals, Josh. There's J.J. Bleday, 299. Are the Marlins ahead of schedule? This goes to Anthony T. and the Fish. They seemed ahead of schedule this year, but it's a short season, so I don't know how much. Was it just a good streak? And there's our third autograph out of the box, Tariq Skubal for uh, Alan Tobin and the Tigers. And we'll find out with the Fish. Tigers rebuilding. And some paper. And that was box one. autos and here is the next box good luck has there been any big baseball news folks I feel like the the hot stove has been has been kind of cool All right, uh, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, White Sox non-tender, Nomar Mazzara and Carlos Rodon. Interesting, let's do some upside in Carlos Rodon. Eddie Rosario clears waivers. Yeah, a lot of non-tender action today. Mets to sign Trevor May, Royals sign Mike Miner. And I need to click the recent news tab. Let's look at the MLB arbitration and non-tender tracker in this Google Sheet. Oh man, there's gonna there's there's a lot of tendering going on, a lot of tenderness happening here. So I guess we'll see. I'd love to see where all the dust settles. It looks like the Cubs are going to non-tender Kyle Schwarber. Now, remind me, Jay, what the tendering is. That means they're not being tendered a contract, right? It's kind of like being released. Maybe an avoidance of arbitration somehow. But then they go through waivers, maybe? And then if you clear waivers, you can, I don't know, a lot of rules. Right, today's day I'd like to offer contracts to everyone on the 40-man roster. If they don't do it, they become free agents. There you go. So a lot of players could turn into free agents. 101 saying the Blue Jays are being associated with a lot of big names. And at the end of the day, yeah, that's right. It's all about arbitration. They don't want to risk a, a, a certain number at a hearing. So it's not quite being released. 
you're just not tendered the contract for being on the 40-man roster. You avoid arbitration. And, and a lot of players could still come back, but maybe at a, at a lower deal. A little bit of gamesmanship there. There's Bobby Bradley to 150. And so some bigger names may end up on on the on the market because of the pandemic and some teams are, are gonna be crying poor. It's like, sorry, we don't have the money for you. So and so. There's Drew Waters to 150. Maybe they're kinda hoping that they don't get the money, the big money in free agency, and they could re sign him for cheap or or just not sign him at all. Drew Waters for the Braves, Levi Johnson. We got Sixto Sanchez, who's been playing well. Anthony with the fish to 499. Well, we'll see where all that or all the non-tender dust settles. Be interesting to see what the uh, what the Dodgers end up doing. And there's our first autograph of this box, box two. Ben Bramer for the Nats. Mike Tower. Comic, what's going on? What are the what are the what are thoughts on Tua and Joe Burrow? Tall thoughts? I can't decipher that autocorrect. Or maybe that's a y'all. What are y'all thoughts? Um, sorry, my head was in baseball mode for a second here. I gotta switch my head into football mode. I mean, I don't know if we can really, I don't know if we can really truly evaluate these seasons, right? But from what what small sample size we have. I think both are going to be strong quarterbacks. You know, poor Joe Burrow got, got got injured so late in the season that he might miss a big chunk of next season as well. He might not even play next season. If I'm the Bengals, why risk it? There's Quinn Priester. The Under Armour gear right here. Where did where did he end up? So we're going to have to wait a while for Joe Burrow. I think he should be, f I mean, I'm no doctor, but is Quinn Priester a royal? No, he's a pirate. So that'll go to Pittsburgh. That'll be for Brandon with the Pitt Pirates. But if I'm the Bengals, maybe you just not have Joe Burrow play next year and you spend this offseason and then the next year after that just rebuilding that offensive line so he doesn't get killed. And they've got some offensive weapons, though. They got T. Higgins, and they got they got a bit of a running attack, so they just gotta shore up some some things in here, and then we could probably truly evaluate him. Tyler Brenner thinks Joe Burrow's just done. Waste of a draft pick. I don't know. He was he was playing pretty well up until the injury. And listen, if if Alex Smith can come back. From, from that from a devastating leg injury I'm sure Joe, Joe Burrow can as well oh I see I see what Tyler Brandon Tyler Tyler says yeah Joe Burrow is done sell all of your burrows to him I see what's going on I get it now
Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think I think that the price won't change too much for the Bengals because, you know, because uh, I think he still had he still has a great a great upside, great future, and people are trying to buy low on him. And there's Jesus Lazardo, nice rookie auto, 56 out of 75. Breaker pricing is tough though. You can't really, you, you can't really, uh, you know, slash prices every time someone gets injured. Conversely, that means we'd have to raise prices every time they do well, right? That would just that would kind of be a nightmare. I think the challenge of of any group breaker who's doing prices for this, which is Nick Jaspi for us. Is to try to find. Is to try to find that middle spot right there. Don't price it too high. Don't price it too low, and just sit right in the middle. I've had some people even say, "Oh, well, now that that one of ones pulled, you know, aren't you going to slash the pricing on this team?" And we're like, "What?" There's our three autos right there. That'd be crazy. Imagine if we had to adjust prices every time any card was pulled. At that point, then every auto that's pulled, we'd have to change pricing fractionally. You know, like, it, it would be insane. Right, yeah, we'd have to price the chargers two times more now, Jason's saying. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be crazy. So that's why we don't, that's why most breakers won't try to fluctuate prices too much, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like the stock market, but with pricing, it's more of like a futures market, right? You don't want to, it doesn't, it's not, doesn't vary too wildly. We want to try to get the, the, the right number right at the middle. I guess it's, 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 le it's, maybe it's less like stock market, but it's like Vegas and a, and a, and a football line, right? You want to get the spread, you want to get the spread correctly, correct, and not go not make a team too big of a dog or too little of a dog, too much of a favorite, too little of a favorite, and still get all the, uh, you know, while still getting enough wagering in. But yeah, th yeah, thankfully now, it'd be a different story if Joe Burrow, yeah, exactly, Jason, I was just going to say that, it'd be a different story uh, if Joe Burrow got injured in week two. Then we'd be like, oh, yeah, that. but I think Joe Burrow has established himself well enough that, that with some decent coaching and an uh, offensive line, you know, and he'd be a pretty productive quarterback, I think. Right, next box, another three autos to go. We'll put the other uh, the other four boxes in the, in the shop after this break. I think I only see a dozen orders coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if that's enough to fill a group break unless someone bought a ton of spots. So get into the action on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Wow, Jack saying he was browsing through the local Target here, and the woman working the collectibles section told me there were 25 guys lined up at 5 a.m. to get Prism. The hobby, the hobby pie is growing, ladies and gentlemen. The larger the pie, The better it'll be for secondary market values, better for group breaks, so on and so forth. Right, and pieces, enough pieces for all of us. What, 101 says they're losers? I don't know. I mean, anyone can think, people might think doing this and watching this is for losers. It's all relative. Some people might think 
you know, putting 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 a kit on your car. It's for losers. I can't really judge. Willy Wonka, what's going on? Just joined. The, how is the stream going? It's it's streaming. I think we don't have we have not had any drop frames. YouTube's been working nicely. You know, so no issues. There's Adam Hill for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Jason Wayner. Oh, the the actual action of waiting in line for hours at 5 a.m. at Walmart? I don't know. I've been, uh, I've lined up for stuff before. Like that. I guess I'm a loser too. There's Jason Dominguez paper, Yankees. Yeah, all, all Cameron Taylor's wanting is like, he's like, hey, just leave, leave some for the rest of us though. That is true. Oh, look at this. Bowman Scouts top 100 autograph, 31 out of 50, Gavin Lux. He's number five. There you go, old Luxie. That's going to Brandon and the Dodgers. The world champs. I think he'll get some everyday playing time in the upcoming season. There you go. That should be that should be pretty nice. And hopefully he'll be he'll be able to solidify himself in the second base slot for my guys. <laughs> okay, Zeb. Good joke. Trolling me. There's Robert Poss and Chrome. That'll be for the A's, Tony. Another Bobby Witt Jr. paper. And there's Christian Javier, it's 250. Yeah, that I understand, 101. Yeah, the I, that I understand. Hey, save, save some for the rest. There's Everson Pereira, 006 out of 250. I think some Walmarts and Targets have been doing uh, doing limits though, so I wonder if that if that place did a, had any limits. All right, nice parallel here. That goes to the Yankees, Chris Fedor with that one. That's our third autograph of the box, and there's a Jason Dominguez, Bowman Scouts. Robert Pawson paper. And Ruben Cardenas to 125 for the Rays. That'll be for Tyler Brenner. Ray Hughes, what's up? Just hopped on. What team do I have? Here in four box jumbo three. Padres. We've not seen any Padres though. Maybe maybe a parallel, but no no, no ink. There's probably some Padres Chrome cards going your way though. Yeah, how do they know? I mean, that's been uh, 
that's been a big subject, I think. How do they know when Walmart or Target is stocking these? I think a third-party company stocks them. So I guess they just figure out when they get delivered. <laughs> the four ninety nine, Jose Uranian, for the fish, Anthony. I've heard stories, you know, non-confirmed stories, but I heard stories of people who like know the driver or have a side deal with the driver or something like that. I don't know. All right, there's the three autographs there, and the final box coming up. All right, final box. Is that 50 auto booklet your best pull ever? It was until we pulled a LeBron James one of one logo man not too long ago. So I guess that would be the best best one. Michael Massetti saying there's sites where you can enter SKU codes and it'll tell you when an item is stocked. I use it I use I used to use it when I didn't want to wait in the line for PS3 and PS4. I feel like I I've heard of that I've heard of that site. So yeah, there there are there are ways to do it. Yeah, you, know, you didn't see the vid, Willie. Well, it's the video that says LeBron James one of one. Logo man in the front of the title. We'll be able to find it. Uh, we actually just heard word from the, the winner of that card. He said, and we, we had sent it directly to our friends at Leland's Good Auction House. They did, they did, they sold that Connor McDavid for us too. Friends of Jaspies, even before Jaspies existed. Um, but they took care of the grading. It graded out a 9.5, according to the winner of the card today. That should hit auction, the auction market on in January at some time. And uh, I'm sure we'll be keeping an eye on it, and we'll see when uh, what it goes up to. Hopefully, a lot. Yeah, that Kobe auto was stunning too, and that was out of a mixer, one box out of a mixer. That's if we can pull a, another stunner out of this final box, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll go through some orders after this and we'll see what else we'll get into. All right, good luck everybody. And I think I see another Bowman Scouts autograph, ladies and gentlemen. This is for Tony and the A's. And the Bowman Scouts autograph, the number one prospect here, Wander Franco, 25 out of 50. Now, I don't know. Then that goes to Tyler Brenner and the Rays. I'm not sure how this... COVID season has interrupted Wander Franco's progress, but I'm thinking we might be able to see him this upcoming season. Yeah, didn't Tyler, wasn't Tyler trying to trade the Rays? There you go. Yeah, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo right there. There you go. Tyler's happy. He's happy that he didn't trade him. Chrome Jason Dominguez. Brennan, what's going on? How are you? Another Jason Dominguez.
There's Blake, Blake Rutherford out of 499. For the White Sox, that's going to be for Matthew Shearer. Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. We've got some Speckle coming up. Speckle, Sparkle, Helio Ramos to 299 for my rivals, the Giants. Allen for the Giants. We've got some highly rated prospects coming up the ranks. That'll be for Josh and the Royals. There's AJ Puck to 150. Oh, nice. You did all right in that mixer. Good. There's Taylor Trammell for the Padres to 150. That'll be for Ray. He's supposed to be a, a highly tattered prospect, too. Jason Dominguez. I was going to say two more autographs. Here's the second of three. Oscar Gonzalez for Cleveland. That'll be for Brandon Metzler. I'm looking for one more autograph. And there it is. It's Lency Delgado, 199 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph going to Matthew Shearer and the White Sox. All right, so let's see if we can find some cool parallels. Maybe a bonus autograph? Bonus autograph is rare. Looks like that is going to be that, folks. One last Dominguez paper going to Chris. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That's the four-box random team break number three of 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.